reviews, yeah. Hey, it's about to go down. Hey y'all, welcome back to Living Life with Lisa Lisa. Hi guys, thank you all so so much for tuning in. So we're gonna jump right into this video cause I'm on a time restraint. And today you all, we're gonna be making some Georgia chicken and rice, okay? That's gonna be the star of the show, the chicken and the rice. It's a simple, it's easy and it's quick and it's one of those meals that you can stretch for a couple of days too okay so all right you all we're going to get into this video but first if this is your first time here welcome 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 we welcome you all to living life with lisa lisa where we do everything food over here in the kitchen with tk food reviews drink reviews uh grocery shopping hauls uh grocery hauls uh recipes and yeah anything food we do it here at living life with lisa lisa and also too hub and i go on date nights and you know if it's involving food then we're going to put it on the channel as well too so if you guys don't mind once you get to the end of this video give it a big thumbs up and leave us some sweet love loving and kind comments down below so let's get into this video thank y'all for being here Okay, you guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add water. The amount of water that you use depends on how much chicken you're going to use as well, too. So we do have a gas stove, so I'm going to turn the heat on medium heat, okay? And as I do that, I'm going to add my seasonings. And so what I am using is I am using season all. And you can use whatever seasonings that you want to. And you can put whatever amount that, um, that you desire. That's a little bit of time. Some garlic is what I'm putting in here. I want it to be flavorful. Onion powder, garlic powder. And then lastly, I'm going to add some black pepper. So I'm gonna let all that simmer for a little bit while I get ready to cut up my onions. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my onion up in there. And I put onion in there for flavor purposes. And also too, I am missing one ingredient that I generally use, and that is um, chicken broth. I generally use chicken broth um, in my Georgia chicken and rice, but um, I'm out and I thought I had some, but I don't. So I'm going to do it without, which we used to prepare it without the chicken broth, but um, so it's gonna be good either way it goes. So I'm gonna cut my onions up to my specifications, which I don't want them diced. you know they're going to cook down anyway so I don't want them too small okay and then I'm just going to add it to my water and seasoning Make sure that you guys are able to see. Okay. And also too, I'm going to add 
some butter, and I have some Country Crock Original butter that I'm going to add in there, okay? This was a last minute meal. This wasn't something that I prepared for. So if y'all see me grabbing things, that's why, because usually when I'm doing a cooking video, I like to have everything out. But anyway, that's life, life is life. -in. But anyway, um, I have it on medium heat and I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook for a little bit before I add my chicken, okay? I'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. I'm using the um, drumettes and the wingets, y'all. You can use drumsticks or short thighs or legs if you want to. It's your preference, but I'm choosing to use these chicken pieces. I hope you all are enjoying the video thus far. And I hope everyone is having an awesome day today. Okay, so I have all of my chicken in there. And so I'm going to let that cook for about an hour, okay? And I have it on medium heat. And I'll be back. All right, you guys. So the chicken is looking good. Can y'all see that there? It is looking so good. It is almost ready to come out because I want it to be tender, tender, tender. And y'all, when I tell y'all it's smelling good up in here, it is smelling good up in here. Hayla was like, can I just taste a little bit of it? I was like, nope, you gotta wait, you gotta wait. But yeah, that's what it's looking like. So, in about 10 minutes, I'm going to take some of the broth from the chicken, as you can see. I'm going to take some of the broth from the chicken and I'm going to add it to my water right here for my rice because I want it to taste like chicken and rice. I want that broth from the chicken to um, flow through or sink in that rice. And then I just got some green beans on the back back there as y'all can see. But yeah, and um, as far as the rice that I'm using, I am using the bag rice. You can um, use any rice that you want to, but this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be doing two bags, but you can use any rice flavor or any type of rice that you want to use, but I just had this success rice on hand. We actually love the success rice. So that's what we're going to be using today. And once I come back, you will see the rice going into the pan with the broth as well too. Okay, you guys, so I have a fourth cup of that chicken broth, and I'm going to pour it in here for my rice. And like I said, the measurements depend on you and how many you're feeding. And I'm gonna take another fourth cup and add it to here, and I also added butter, and I made sure to um, add the, um, the onions over here in the rice, and, um, for the rice as well too. So my butter is melting, and then that's what it's looking like. All right, you all, when I come back, you will see what Georgia chicken and rice looks like. you guys I am finished with this Georgia chicken and rice now growing up we used to just call it chicken and rice but one of my husband's relatives whenever he made it he called it Georgia chicken and rice and I'm just thinking he called it that 
because growing up that's what they ate a lot and then and it was uh in georgia so i'm assuming that's why he call it georgia chicken and rice and um that's what we've been calling it georgia chicken and rice it's the same as chicken and rice so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed preparing this georgia chicken and rice for you and please don't forget if you can if you will give this video a big big thumbs up and also leave me some sweet loving and kind comments down below and we will see y'all in the next video all right guys the next clip you're gonna see is the georgia chicken and rice plated up y'all this is gonna be so good but again thank y'all so much and i will see y'all in the next video bye bye